set to do battle here in West Lafayette, Indiana. And we couldn't have asked for better weather for today's game between the Indiana Hoosiers and the Purdue Boilermakers. along with Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. It's the annual battle for the old Oaken Bucket in one of college football's oldest rivalries. The Hoosiers may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? Well, I agree with you. I don't think this one will be close at all. Indiana has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Yep, no question, Kirk. Indiana is not going to be able to slow down this rushing attack, and I'm going to tell you why. That defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk, and they're going to lose this one big. We're hoping for a great game. Guys, let's get down on the field. The team captains are ready for the coin toss. Kick this one away. Not a real deep kick. Should be returned. Number 80. Pass it at the 5. First and 10. Ball on their own 20. Number 33. Lines up as a single back. Spins around. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defensive line was just too overpowering and didn't give the running back much of a chance there. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Throws. His receiver has it. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves to play. He wants to ball every time they throw it up. It's first and ten. Ball in the third. The Hoosier with a stack backfield. They'll drop in for a loss. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play red and sealed it off from the get-go. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 29-yard line. They come out in the Maryland eye. He'll get it again. And he's taken down. Four-yard gain by the back. They're down in seven, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Indiana comes to the line with three wide. Here's the option left. A lateral. And down he goes. And that's not going to be enough to move the chain. Nope. Here's why. Good defensive awareness. They did a great job of recognizing run early and reacting to the ball carrier. Number 44, back to punt. Number 44, gets it off. Number 4, fields at the 29. This is a great opportunity here for the offense to try to get an early lead on this first drive. They'll go to work at the 28. The Hoosier bring in the nickel packet. They'll throw on first down. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Number 25, alone in the backfield. Back to pass. He's looking. He's all the way down to the 45. That'll get some good yardage for the receiver. This kid is one heck of a wideout. He's the guy you got to get the ball to as much as you can because he can do things that make you safe. Whoa. Purdue comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Inside handoff. And he's taken down four, maybe five yards on the run. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. About two minutes before halftime. The Boilermakers come out in a bunch formation. And down he goes. 
And he pulls off a great run. Let me tell you something. This kid is a good running back, and I haven't seen moves like that since my high school prom, sweetheart. <laughs> Easy, Coach. You don't want to scare off any of our viewers. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 18 has four receivers lined up here. He drops back. Fires! What a pick! Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback. And once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going and he made the pick. The Hoosier set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. And it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. You got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Indiana comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's under pressure. And he drops it. Third and 10. Ball on their own 31. Number 33 lines up as a single back. Back to pass. Steps up. Here they come. Caught. And he's taken down. He appears to have been injured on the play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49. Here's the give. And down he goes. The Hoosiers have caught for a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Incomplete pass. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. Just relax and just make a good throw. The Hoosiers come out in a bunch formation. Drops back to pass. Under pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. They put the pressure on and it paid off. Well, his protection just simply broke down. And if that continues, this quarterback's going to have a long day. Number 44 to put this one away. He gets it off. Number four fields it at the 22. Nothing doing on that return. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. The Boilermaker line up with three receivers, but hangs it up there. So the safety defends the pass nicely. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. The Hoosiers line up with six defensive backs. Looking, he lets it go. He's all the way down to the 35-yard line. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. Drop back to pass in the zone. It's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows. First and ten. Ball on the 35. The Boilermakers are going to take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. So we'll probably get one last key to the end zone here before halftime. And we've reached the end of the first half of play. Still, no score. We're ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Number four, fields it at the nine. At the 30, breaks one. So 
Well, before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Start this drive at the 40-yard line. The Boilermaker come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Let's it go. Century mark in yard. I'd say that's a pretty good day's work, wouldn't you guys? Absolutely, coach. First and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. The Boilermaker. Line up with three receivers bunch. And he's taken down. Couldn't get anything out of that. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 17. Purdue lines up in a bunch formation. And down he goes. About eight yards there. Purdue sets up with four receivers. Bounces off the rookie tackle, and he's taken down. They pick up the first down on the ground attack. You know, great job there by the offense on a crucial third down lead to pick up that first down. Kirk, did you see the way those guys blocked in that play? That was beautiful. Number 18 with four wide receivers, and down he goes. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. Number 18 has four receivers lined up here. The quarterback just burrowed his way into the end zone on that one. And probably the simplest play you could run. Snap it and start pushing that defensive line back. The next thing you know, it's the quarterback. the PAT. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter and our score Purdue 7, Indiana nothing. Number 19 looks ready to kick this one off. Number 31 and number 30 to return. Kicks it off. Number 30 feels it for 24. And now we'll see the offense coming on out of the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 30. Number 33 is the single setback. They'll throw on first down. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He couldn't avoid the sack there, but yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside, and it's incomplete. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 26. Number 10 with three wide receivers. He drops back. He steps up. He's got to throw in a hurry. Boy, they got some major heat on the quarterback that time. Well, that's the whole goal of the defense. They're going to attack him by bringing multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 44 gets it off. Number four, fields at the 48. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll go to work at the 42. The Hoosiers bring in the nickel package. On the ground, up the middle, and he's taken down. The Hoosiers call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. 
It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Lunch formation. The handoff on the counter. And down he goes. Indiana takes a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. First and ten. Ball on the 28. The Boilermakers come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. They get a good seven yards on that one. The second down and three to go. Ball on the 21. And they have three receivers, but on the ground with the tailback. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. He picks up four yards on the carry. And here's our red zone players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. The Boilermakers line up with three receivers, but he has some room. Boy, there was no way that he was going to be stopped. He wanted that touchdown. And here's another look at that fantastic run. on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Purdue 14, Indiana nothing. Number 19 ready to kick, number 31 and number 30 back ready to return. Here's the kick. Number 31 fields it at the 19. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive. They were forced into a three and out. Boy, boy, they got the goal last time. Right. Maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Three wide outs here. Back to pass. Steps up. He's in trouble. Look. And down he goes. The defense has four sacks in the ball game. Drops back to back, and he stops the clock for the spike. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on their own 21. Indiana comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket, under heavy pressure. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That gives this defensive unit five sacks for the ball game. The defense came into this game with a game plan to put the pressure on the quarterback. It's safe to say they're happy with their performance. Back to pass. Pressure coming. He steps up, and they got it. And they're sack number six on the day. Kirk, who's at fault here? The O-line for not blocking well, or the quarterback for not getting rid of the football? I'd say you can blame both the offensive line and the quarterback, but don't forget about the receivers. They're not helping matters. They're not getting open. So you're seeing a lot of coverage sacks as well. And he's taken down. Indiana calls a timeout. Ace backfield. He'll get it again. Touchdown, Purdue! Second touchdown there by the running back. And you could tell he really wanted to get in on that one. Yeah, he showed a lot of determination and heart on that run. That's a nice touchdown. There's a flag down, and here's the call. the PAT. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Purdue 21, Indiana nothing. He kicks it. Number 91, deals it to 39. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? 
It's first and 10. Ball on their own 44. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And the wide had trouble holding on there. And I'll tell you what, he was holding on for dear life there. I don't think he was concerned about the ball too much on that play. Nah. Bunch formation. Drop back to pass. Here comes the pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. Can this offense do anything to slow down this pass rush? I think they need to make some adjustments with their pass protection. Maybe allow the backs to stay in the block because the quarterback is getting pounded. Pounded for seven sacks so far. Watch out. This defense might get him again. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 44 gets it off. Number 4 feels it at the 27. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? When it comes to rival games, anything can happen. That's what makes it so great and adds to the history. It was no different here today. Big win for these guys. Well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA Football 2004. And our final count, Purdue 21, Indiana nothing. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.